Hey folks, Matt from ArtOfTheImage.com. Some very interesting news just came out from Engadget. I believe this was released yesterday. Yeah, Nikon may release two full-frame mirrorless cameras this summer. Now, Engadget's a uh, really good site, great tech site, uh, and usually quite accurate. This is very interesting because we knew that there was cameras, there are cameras, full frame mirrorless coming from Nikon. They have announced it. We know they're in development. I was not expecting, I don't think anybody was expecting them to be out this early. So uh, Engadget says here that the assumption is both uh, models will be full frame and we're looking at a high megapixel and a low megapixel, something like a 45 to 48 megapixel body and then a 24 to 25 megapixel body. Similar to if you think of a 610 or a 750 being their 24 megapixel DSLRs and then we're into that beautiful 850 at, uh, what is that, 46 megapixels. Um, so you could almost see them using those same sensors, the overlap there. And they're saying, uh, what else do they have here that we didn't really know? They're reporting that the cameras will accept both XQD and CF Express memory cards. I find this interesting, um, and I find it kind of unnecessary. I would have thought Nikon would have gone with fast SD cards, uh, SDXC or whatever the fastest ones are now. We've got some super fast speeds out of those and very big um, sizes for storage. Uh, that would have been my preference. Maybe there's a reason they need these. Maybe not. I, th I think I would like to see them do SD. Um, they, st they do say it hasn't been confirmed by Nikon, but they have sources saying this. They're saying the premium 45 megapixel model will come with a um, 24 to 70 uh, kit lens. So that'll be interesting. Maybe a 2.8, maybe not. And that the 25 uh, megapixel camera will also come with a lens. Um, and, oh, and they've got the prices here. We're looking at suggested price of 4000 on the high-end one and 3000 on the low-end one. So this is pretty interesting, kind of exciting, um, because they're saying that this will be, when was the actual announcement date? Uh, they'll be announced around July 23rd. Now, that's pretty specific. That's not just saying maybe sometime this summer. They're saying it'll be announced around July 23rd, which isn't that far away. It's a few weeks, a couple weeks, uh, and ship about a month later. So August, end of August? This is exciting because I, I wasn't aware we were going to get these announcements this soon or have cameras uh, available this early. Uh, what do you guys think? Are you excited about these new Nikon full-frame mirrorless? What do these Nikon full-frame mirrorless need to do? Uh, how do they need to be specced in order for you to buy one? I think the biggest thing on my mind is Nikon needs to nail down uh, the dual-pixel AF, if you will. Canon's dual-pixel AF, something like that in a Nikon version. They need a autofocus that can follow you smoothly and accurately during video so that uh, they're competitive with Canon and with Sony on that front and Panasonic's really come a long way too with that. Uh, other than that, I, I really like Nikon cameras and I think they're going to really knock one out of the park. That's what I think with these mirrorless. I don't think they're going to drop the ball here. I think they know this is important. They need to come to market with a product that's going to blow everybody away and we may see a class-leading full-frame mirrorless pair of cameras come out here. In other words, Nikon's new full-frame mirrorless may be the camera to buy, and they may um, stop the bleeding of existing Nikon shooters going elsewhere. They may bring back more Nikon shooters into the fold. They may bring in shooters that weren't Nikon, because I think these are going to be really, really good cameras. But let me know what you guys think. Let me know in the comments below. Are you excited that this is, uh, you'll be able to get your hands on one by the end of August? Um, do you are, you, are you waiting to buy a Nikon full-frame mirrorless? Have you already switched? Would you switch back? Let me know what your thoughts on these are. Uh, how excited are you? Looking forward to seeing what you have to say in the comments below. Thanks for tuning in. Stay tuned. We'll be back soon here at artoftheimage.com.